All right, so I'm responding to this uh, to the questions in this uh, channel conversation by you know recording a little screen session here for those that may be watching this video uh, or have gotten to this video from another place. The conversation was centered around uh, the profiles features and edge and the ability to save a site as an app, install a site as an app and basically use these features in order to help us with the inconvenience of tenant switching between uh, the tenants that our other customers may have um, and let us kind of pin them to the start menu and all that good stuff. So we can see my good buddy Nestor here is in two tenants, uh, Contoso, and then uh, this happens to be another uh, tenant that I that I own. So uh, he's a guest in that one. So what we want to do is pin this so that Nestor does not have to come here to the drop down and switch to that. He can kind of just get to it in one click. So we'll use profiles for that. So I'm here in Edge and I'm going to make a new profile kind of dedicated to that any uh, tenant. So I'm going to add a profile, hit add. And I've got my new container here. I don't care about syncing it uh, in this case. Uh, but I will go ahead and make this look a little better than saying profile two. So I'm going to manage profile settings. Hit the little edit here. I'm going to call it, you know, my any tenant. Pick a nice little icon there. I'm not signing in. I'm just I've, I've named my container, so I'm good there. So at this point, I'll go ahead and uh, log in the teams. And I do want to log in, you know, again as as Nestor, as my, you know, uh, main account. I, you can actually this kind of shows that uh, you know you might wonder why I'm logging in. This 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 profile, you know, is is fresh and new. It doesn't have any store credentials. Doesn't know anything about me, and so I'm kind of introducing these credentials uh, here to be stored. And uh, 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 uh. Good. you see that it's saying and asked me to save the password, which I definitely want to do. You know, part of the beauty of the profiles is with all my demo tenants, my customers, whatever it may be, I don't have to worry about remembering passwords. As you saw it there, the browser will remember it for me. Um, so I just want to make sure when I see that message, though, that I go ahead and hit save that the passwords actually, if we go to the profile settings are uh, in the passwords area, if you ever wanted to go back and see what that was, you know, and as you add more passwords to other sites, they're all added here. But anyway, it's a little bit of a digression. I'm going to open it in the browser. So you can see I'm here. This looks just like what I was seeing in the desktop, but I want to go here. I'm going to go in the browser and switch to my NE tenant in this case. And that will uh, bring that over. Blah, blah, blah. This is probably the first time I'm logging in, so that's good. I'm a part of just one team there, so you can see I've switched over. OK, and obviously I am now in the any tenant in the browser while still maintaining myself in the Contoso tenant in the desktop app. And that's not uh, too surprising. OK, so I'll close this out, right? I'm still in the, the desktop. Here's my main piece, but you can see here I've got obviously pro profile one in this my any tenant. If I go here, just through the browser, um, you know, going back to Teams will take me to Teams, but you keep me in that any tenant, you know, so it's remembering what I had last. And since that's working, let's go ahead then and go to, down to apps and let's install this site as an app. I'm going to give it a better name. I'm actually going to call it, you know, the any tenant. In my case, usually I'd name these like, you know, state of whatever, you know, whatever customer I'm trying to pin or or whatever other tenant I'm using. But I'm going to go ahead and hit install and you can see what it immediately does is shows the teams uh, or shows teams in its own window per se. Kind of it looks like an app. This is the progressive web app stuff. I'm still in the any tenant. Uh, so that's all cool. But what's really cool is that if I go here, I'm seeing the, the any tenant as an app. And I can even pin that to start. 
as an app, I can pin that to the task bar. Um, da, 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 pin it to the task bar if I want to. I, I usually don't do that. But uh, let me go ahead and close this. And even close, I'll close Edge. Again, I'm still in the browser. I'm still doing my thing in the Contoso tenant. But with one click, you can see I'm even, I even have a uh, icon on the desktop. But I can go to the start menu, click with one click, comes up as if it's an app. And when it comes up, it's coming up, it's still in the any tenant, ready to go. I don't have to switch. I don't have to remember the passwords or anything like that. It just treats it like its own uh, separate thing. Um, it's also really nice because, I mean, because it's an app, just like any app, I mean, I can do a search for it, you know, so I don't even have to go looking for it. It's, it's just like any app. I can just find it there. And it can live side by side. Only the only thing this costs me really is the you know the RAM on my computer. Obviously, if I have a bunch of these open, it's going to take a lot of RAM. And I could be doing this for multiple uh, multiple apps. So, for instance, in our demo tenants, I would you know want to do this for multiple personas in that demo environment. Maybe the administrator and maybe two common users, so that I could show them side by side, show some real time co authoring or something like that. Um, it can easily, you know, use these three dots to open that back up in a, you know, in the browser. Um, that's really kind of what it's doing is masking that, that 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 browser experience, but it is essentially still browser. And I could continue to add more profiles, right? If I wanted to do this again with another tenant, I just do it there. And so while I could hit it from the start menu, I could have also have just used this drop down to kind of. In my real environment, I've got like 10 different profiles lined up here. So you can just have as many as, as your system can handle, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, you know, I've used this install site for even for Power BI reports that, you know, I want to kind of treat as an app or anything like that. But the key here is this ability to treat it like an app. Um, you know, I, I have multiple, so I'll end up putting them in their own kind of folder. Um, they, you know, I mean, as the name implies, they they act just like an app would, and in fact, they even have an uninstall piece that will take you to the to Windows uninstall feature. But you can also easily get rid of them by coming here. It keeps tracks of all the sites that you have added as an app, and uh, you can go and manage it, and then just click the X here to kind of uninstall them as well. So hopefully that helps, and. Uh, if not, if anybody's got any additional questions, let me know. But hopefully that helps uh, show the power of the new Edge browser profiles and uh, installing as apps.